There are a number of groups of organisms, some alive today, such as velvet worms, and uh, many from the Cambrian and early Paleozoic fossil record, which seem to be intermediate between worms and arthropods. One group, known as the lobopods, was first discovered in the Burgess Shale of Canada, uh, and a number of discoveries, especially in sediments in China, uh, have increased the diversity of lobopods, which are known. Uh, Ashea from the Burgess Shale uh, seems to have had uh, precursors to the antennae, which are well known in uh, arthropods. These lobopods possessed segmented bodies and a number of paired legs. The number of paired uh, legs could vary uh, from 25 in Cardiodicton uh, to 9 in Pausipodia, and one middle Cambrian lobopod, which apparently only had three, and perhaps the vestigial uh, stubs of a fourth pair. They possessed eyes, and some possessed armor from sclerites along their uh, backs or, or little uh, pieces of armor to the spikes known in hallucinogenia. The greatest uh, example of jointed legs might come from Dionea. Uh, this is perhaps the form whose legs are closest to that of the arthropod uh, body plan. Uh, these legs uh, seem to have been uh, armored and possess small spikes. Together, these lobopods from the Cambrian uh, seem to represent transitional forms, uh, which seem to be the sister group of arthropods, uh, perhaps showing how arthropod-like body plans evolved in stages.